Ah, it's you. Please, have a seat. So... How about some tea? I'm sorry I couldn't be more help during the battle with Julius. Hmm. Let me ask you something. What exactly did you come here to do? You've come rather far. What do you still hope to achieve? Then prepare your god arc. I need your help with something. I'll explain the rest when we get there. This is Aegis. It was originally built as a shelter, meant to house all humankind during a global catastrophe. Now, we use a gathering pheromone to lure specific origami to this place. Ironic. Our safe haven has become a trap. I heard somewhere that people used to use the same trick to get rid of dangerous insects. We've activated the pheromone to lure in the Congo. ETA, three minutes. Right. Shall we? God Eaters deployed. Don't worry, I'm here to watch your back.
wrap up and head home. I feel damn good. Let's take on another one. That was rather easily done. <laughs> Did you even need me? I feel like I was super on target today. <laughs> Sorry, that weird noise on the comm was my tummy. I didn't get breakfast. Time for a touch of maintenance. All right, now it's my turn. Time for a touch of maintenance. Nicely done, Captain. If you don't mind, I'd like you to continue assisting me in this research. You know where I'll be. Whenever you're so inclined, stop by the lab. I'm running low on samples of a certain origami species. Luckily, a group of them were just reported at a nearby factory. I'll be heading over there to do a little hunting. Would you care to join me? Good. Thank you. It was three years ago. I lost a friend to this place. She... She was like a little sister to me. Certainly closer than my real family. I should have saved her. Yes, they really do. Day in and day out, I am surrounded by death that I can come to terms with. But I still can't get used to her absence. Captain, do you know much of the Aegis Project? I expected as much. Aegis was to be my father's magnum opus. He was a branch director and a scientist, but still wanted more. He lived by a simple code. The ends justify the means. I've never been able to come to terms with that. Still, as I delve deeper into his work, I have come to see that, though mad, he truly had a first-rate mind. His name appears constantly in all kinds of texts, though mostly his early work pertained to advances in construction. Yet still, despite all that renown, Ah, uh, my apologies. Lindo was scheduled to call. Thank you. Return later if you can. We'll pick up this discussion now. Farewell. We're monitoring the enemy's oracle responses from here. You are clear to engage.
a nice long rest. Hmm. Perhaps a little compression here would better serve the required bias factor tuning. Still, this Aegis was built for strength. <laughs> I can see his arrogant face in every one of these walls. Sorry, that must have sounded almost mad. I meant Johannes von Schicksal, my father and Aegis' designer. We didn't get to finish our talk last time, did we? Where did we leave off? Ah, of course. Well, I may not be as great a scientist as my father, but I do have much I can be proud of. I have friends who trust me implicitly, just as I trust them. I am proud to fight alongside each of them. Kota may act the fool, but he swore to protect the Far East for as long as he draws breath. Alyssa battles Aragami, <laughs> and paperwork, every day for the people in the satellite bases. Meanwhile, Lindo and an old friend have gone in search of new Aragami. Every new find helps to create a better future. There's no one right answer to life. There's always many paths before you. I know that now. <laughs> I 
I learned them from a friend. When Aegis failed, my father lost his mind. When he fell, he was alone. Enemies waited in every shadow. Fanaticism like his breeds self-righteousness, which brings isolation, only furthering his fanaticism. I walked that path once. I know too well how easy it is to slip and fall. I didn't mean to talk your ear off. Let's proceed. I may have mentioned this before, but you really do remind me of one of my old friends. I expect the same greatness of you. Welcome back! How long has it been? Man, it must have been at least a year. No, maybe two? <laughs> well, definitely not since Coda became captain. Not to mention that whole spiral tree incident. Wild. Ah, oh, they're here! Uh, yes, come on in! Hey, hey, Director. I got your summons, so what did you want? <gasps> what? Lindo? One and only. I can't believe they're still letting you run a squad, Captain. Dude, that actually hurts! I'm doing a good job as Captain, uh, right? Let me guess. You're the Captain of Blood. The old man told me all about you. <laughs> Gotta say, you've done some good work for the branch. Nice to meet you. I'm Lindo. Sorry, let me do it properly. Lindo Amamiya of the Far East Independent Cradle Unit. That's a mouthful, huh? So, you two haven't met. Once long ago, Lindo was the leader of the first unit. He was captain before the captain before Kota. Now he travels with Cradle. No, oh, they're dedicated to researching and eradicating the most dangerous Aragami. And to help out where they can. Anyways, to the point, I suppose. Lindo, perhaps you might care to bring the new kids up to speed on your latest objective. Hmm? Cradle's been tracking a new Aragami species called a QB. I'd like you to help. With both of our teams on it, we can take it down. This thing is a pure-blood origami, so it's definitely... I, I mean, it's... Uh, hey, old man? Hmm? Yes? Uh, maybe we should have Soma give the briefings. He's all about science, right? And I'm not so hot with the technical stuff. <laughs> oh, Lindo. I'm glad to see that you haven't changed in the slightest. We should call a general assembly first. I'll have the teams called up and the briefings organized post-haste. In the meantime, wander the base. See your old chums. Understood. Thanks, Director. Looks like we got some downtime. I got a few people to see, so let's meet up later. Cradle, this is Fox reporting. Subject found. Requesting additional aerial surveillance. This is Sword reporting. I've got eyes on it. Luca reporting. I can confirm. That thing's huge. What's it doing? It's like a... Giant, deadly puppy. I'm tracking a nearby Aragami. Sword, hold position. Roger that. Holding. Whoa! How'd we miss them? Where'd they even come from? Multiple Congo Aragami converging. Aerial unit withdraw immediately. No way. I'm not just gonna go running back. I'm pretty sure none of them have noticed me yet. Hey! Watch out! Damn, thing almost gave me a heart attack. Aerial unit, you're being surrounded. Withdraw! Just a little longer. Who knows when we'll get another sighting like this. Oracle detected. Get out of there! It's attacking! Returning fire! Listen, withdraw to the rally point. No! This video of the QB was recovered from the research unit. Along with it, we have the results of Cradle's investigation. The QB we've been hunting makes its home in an isolated area, well beyond the Far East's borders. It's the strongest predator there. QB are few in number. Since they're so rare, we haven't actually had an encounter since we discovered them. Then, last month, Cradle received a ton of first-hand reports of the beast. We decided we couldn't afford to wait and mobilized ASAP. Exterminating the QB is vitally important to humanity's future. As for the details, Dr. Soma, why don't you go ahead and brief us on the QB? Yeah, don't call me doctor. It still feels weird. Anyways, the QB is what we call pure-blooded. 
That means its entire body, top to tail, is composed of pure, powerful oracle cells. As a result of eating other origami, more common breeds often contain a blend of such cells. But this QB is unquestionably unique. Oh, Dr. Soma! I don't get it. Allow me to simplify for you, Kota. QB oracle cells are really special for some reason. Well put, Dr. Soma. Why don't you share your vision with them for the QB core? Give the kids an idea of what they're fighting for. So, all right, everyone, imagine this. A wall, taller than the ones we got, that automatically targets and drives back any origami that enters its range. Cool idea, right? Yeah, that'd be so awesome. Or what about portable shelters from the red rain, huh? People could just pop it up and sit safe inside, maybe with a nice ration pack? Would something of that complexity really be possible? Not yet. But with this mission, we'd have a hell of a head start. Research indicates a QB's core can act like a computer processor. Thus, with its power, we could command complex exchanges, each executed and stored individually, all without the need for bias factors. Yeah, thanks. It's gonna get all complicated again, so let's call it, shall we? If you really want to know more, you can go see Dr. Soma directly. Soma. Sorry. Anyway, team, I hope you all understand just how important the QB are to the future of the Far East. It's up to us, so good hunting, my friends. Remember to stay sharp out there, you hear me? Let's bring back a peaceful world, yeah? Where everyone can sleep safe and sound. All right? Dismissed. Soma, Alyssa, it's been a long time since we all fought together, hasn't it? It feels damn good to be back at it. I miss this. Lindo, are you feeling all right? Yeah, of course. It just feels like we've grown. I mean, look at you. Ah, my young trainees have come so far. It brings a tear to my eyes. It's good to have you on board too, Captain. I hope you're ready to keep up with us. That's what I like to see. Well then, the origami ain't gonna wait forever, shall we? It's time, let's go!
like it's after some food. Trying to flee? Not a chance.
into the operation. This one's not easy. Suppose I'll give it my best. Don't let your guard down. Not that I ever would. Good job, kid. Why don't you take a seat?
<laughs> you looking at the arm? <laughs> You're honest. I like that. Want to hear the story? Must have been about three years ago now. I was trapped between a rock and an origami place. The beast snapped up my armlet like it was nothing. Once it's in the blood, the infection spreads like wildfire. That's how this thing happened. The captain of the first unit at the time, who, um, I don't think you've met, strangely enough, joined up with Coda to find a way to halt it. Together, they put their lives on the line and just barely stopped the infection. Huh. I guess a lot happened back then. Well, maybe we can talk about it some other time. Hey, by the way, Captain, I... Well, you don't have to answer right away, but... Okay, well, it's it's just that... Well, I mean, I, I guess I kind of like you. And the blood crew and all that. So, um... Well, if it's cool with you... Uh, why don't you join Cradle and fight alongside us? Lindo always gets so flustered when he tries to recruit new members. Yeah, it's almost too embarrassing to watch. Almost. I can hear you, you know. Hurry up and get us ready to move out. We ain't got all day. Uh, anyways, you don't have to reply right now. Talk it over with the rest of the team, yeah? Get back to me when you have a chance. Together, we can travel the world, see some sights, fight some origami. But most important, meet all different kinds of people and build a cradle for them so that every last one can sleep truly safe at night, you know? That's the Dream Cradle was named for, back when we started this. Me, the old captain, Alyssa, and Soma together strive to make this dream real. I really hope you'll share in it too. But hey, no pressure. It's up to you. Ball's in your court. So, um, yeah. <laughs>